your breakup with Vasilisa, well, to some extent, is probably the loudest. It was discussed most of all for various reasons and because of the great love of your fans. A large number of comments that they saw really great prospects and, probably, due to the fact that this really happened just before the test skates, when, basically, no one expected that anything else could happen. How did this happen? How did this happen right three weeks before the test skates? You know, you didn't choose the moment. Let's just say that you needed to break up before the test skates. Well, let's say it's not intentional. Personally, I have been through this for a very long time. Well, we fought about this topic for more than a year even before the previous test skates. We had a lot of little disagreements, even before the said test skates. More than a year? Wow. Well, we had a very big disagreement. And through that year, well, I told Angelica Alexeyevna that I don't I no longer see myself being in this pair. That I would like to change my partner. It's just, you know, I guess the peak has gotten to the point where we've been dragging and pulling and pulling and getting to this, you know, uncomfortable moment. I mean, maybe I should have done it sooner, but for some reason, I was able to keep it together somehow. Look, well, a whole year, how did it start? Just because of some little things, or just because, did something happen? What did you feel? That there is some kind of disagreement and misunderstanding. Somehow it all started with little things. And these little things had been accumulated and eventually became a bigger thing. Like a snowball in general. Yes, one after another. One after another. As a result, all of it has been accumulated. And it became emotional outbursts. I realized it was. Indeed, you had a pretty good year. And there were very good reviews of experts, there were good ratings. Many have seen you in Russian championships, and you won in the final of the Russian Grand Prix. Did it not give any strength, motivation? And you know, the inner understanding, that maybe, maybe, the right way to go. Maybe it's difficult, there are nuances. But for the result, you need to deal with these nuances. Or was it impossible to switch to it? It worked. We just worked very hard on it. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, there's a problem, and we're not trying to root it out. We're just, you know, postponing it. And then it accumulates twice as much. No, we worked on it. We tried, we talked a lot. And, you know, we have come to Angelica Alexeyevna's house. Right on Saturday or Sunday, sat down and discussed all this. But for some reasons, every time we talked, we just stayed for one or two days, and everything started new. Well, maybe even more. A week or so. And, you know, when you're doing the same mistakes, it hurts really bad every time, cause before you know it, a new one comes along, and you realize at some point that it's like, it doesn't make sense to fight it anymore. Well, I guess this contract led you, the way, to the point where, you could find peace. What is this? Is this some kind of initiative, or some kind of experience? Because let's say Ilya Avabach and I, we're just discussing it last time. And I asked Ilya, what do you think you should change in figure skating? The first thing he said was, figure skating needs to enter into a contract. Seriously, I did it look funny. Yeah, that's the first thing he said. In figure skating you need to enter into a contract. I see, so you need to enter into a contract. So, tell me how you see it, and what was it? It was like, I mean, like, how can I tell you, well, the last fight we had before the contract, well, it was a contract fight that went viral. We couldn't come to a common denominator at all. I mean, well, I'm down, and I can't sort of force myself, you know. I don't feel like riding with her anymore. And it was the only way that Angelica Alexeyevna suggested it. She said that since we can't agree with you, Let's make some kind of contract, a paper, a contract. Well, that's what she said. And we'll do exactly what it says. We're in. Valera should do this. Vasilisa should do this. Well, not to make such problems. Well, this thing is not allowed, here. And like that. I said, all right, let's draw up a contract. Angelica Alexeyevna gave the consent. Vasilisa gave the consent. Yes. Well, I thought. 
We agreed somehow and that's it. After a month, this contract is made. As soon as it was ready, I brought it the next day. I said, here and there, you and I agreed, here is the contract. They told me no one would sign anything. Well, they looked at it and said we won't sign it. Everyone, let's go to the Federation, talk to the Federation. This is too much, I mean, everybody agreed. Yes, then they gave it back as soon as I brought it. Well, because, you know, well, apparently, they had the feeling that we had been working for a month. A month, by the way, this has been a good month. But somehow everyone let go and forgot about it. And I didn't. Because I still have this inner experience that these issues may rise again. It did not allow me to ride in peace. And did you have any conversations too, like, add to this contract, or fix it, or something? Well, that's the interesting part. Which is why I was surprised they turned it down. Because when people bring in some contracts, they have the right to make their own adjustments, because the contract is between two individuals. Let's say, everyone has the right to make adjustments, but neither Vasilisa nor Angelica wanted to make adjustments. For them, the word contract has become for some reason, like, you know, triggers some. They immediately say no, we will not sign anything. The contract was made up of all the terms that Vasilisa laid out. Wherein, she has to pay for skates, shoelaces, training, that's all. It was a two-way contract. I mean, if either of us, the two of us, are breaking some sort of rules that was written on a separate sheet, which means only one sheet. On the other side of the sheet, whoever violates, has to put this in. I mean, having signed this contract, I would be responsible for it. Same of what was drafted by Vasilisa. So, basically, if you broke something, well, would you pay for all this? Well, listen, now, I don't know, there's probably, well, let's not get too close to analyze each point. Well, in general, it's all related to the training process, right? It's a disciplinary thing, lateness or no show. Skipping practice, the relevant reasons, there's, like, some, you know, disruption to training, giving up a plan, some kind of work. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of like a little thing at first, and it hits you really hard. It was the end of July, the beginning of August, yes, training. You are already rolling out, well, as a matter of fact, I think there are. Already such final preparations for test skates. You were performing the whole test skates. Somehow she didn't encourage you to stay after all, even, well, not to go to the Federation right away. Let's do something else. Let's say everything is fine now. Roughly speaking, let's try the same way as it was now. Well, here we are now. For example, we worked there without a contract. Let's try at the same pace. I have lost self-confidence. Well, perhaps we could have done this, but I was so empty inside, I didn't believe the words anymore. I got scolded for it so bad, that we didn't come to the Federation to talk and deal with it in the first place. I mean, we've all been trying to, you know, to figure this out between us. And we haven't really decided. And we didn't decide it all together, but separately. That makes the story short. When this fight happened in the summer first, Vasilisa and I agreed that we will go to Angelika Alexeyevna the other day to do the test skates. But when I arrived in the rink, she asked why Vasilisa is not with you. So Angelika didn't know? Well, she's there. But Angelika didn't know that we wanted to talk to her, but she's not aware. And it happens that I came to the complex the next day for the training. That was evening after the training. And then after the training I went to Angelica, she said, We need to talk to you. Angelica already knows everything. Vasilisa talked to Angelica alone. Without me, on Vasilisa's side, people around her already hate me. And it was already useless for me to convince her. Well, I tried, I talked to her. I said this and that. Not everything that they told you is true, well, 
Vasilisa did it cunningly. She went there first and alone. The three of us didn't talk initially. She went there alone and turned on Zalika Alexeevna against me. Well, as I understand it, after that you somehow didn't have any contact, right? Well, I asked her why she did it. She said that in a stressful situation she forgets what to say. I got it. How did you communicate with the Federation? As far as I know, there were such issues there too. They had a very bad conversation with the Federation, well, it seems to me so. I didn't say a word, unfortunately. Well, it was like, the Federation came to our skating rink. Then they went to watch Annabel Morozov. They were skating there with us. It was convenient for them to come in and talk to us and just watch the training. Well, the Federation arrived, we sat down. And the only thing that really touched me and I liked was that we sat down. I won't drop names. Three people from the Federation, Angelica. And so Vasilisa and I are sitting opposite on the sofas, I'm there in one corner. She's in the other side. We sat down, had the conversation. I don't remember how it started, but Angelica was like this. Valera wants to tell you something. I think, well, okay. And I began to tell that this has all been going on for a very long time. That it's not today that we came up with a contract. And today we drew it up. And today we are breaking up. I said that this is how it is. I'm already conveying it all. It's more than a year at that time. However, Angelica completely denied my statement. And said that this was the first time she had heard about this. That I wanted to break up. Well, you mean, you discussed this with her first? No, we went to her house. We gathered at her house. We talked. We were in the cage for a year. We didn't talk anywhere. And not just about the fact that something isn't working out, but precisely about the fact that... Yes, about the breakup of the couple. That I don't want to skate in this setup. Why do you think she said that? Well, I don't know. To cover herself somehow, I guess. I don't know. I can't speak for her. I speak as I see it. She denies all my statement, saying that this is the first time they heard about this. He came up with it himself. He brought this paper just recently, which we also heard about for the first time. Well, of course, the PP Association Assis doesn't understand all of these, don't know what to do and everything that's happening. I trusted Angelica because she's my coach, but she just set me up. Well. I was very lost the moment I heard it. I could expect anything. I could have been accused of anything. But the fact that she would disown me and just set me up like that, I was not ready for that. Did Vasilisa say anything at that meeting? No, Vasilisa didn't say a word at all. She simply remained silent. Well, Angelica spoke with Vasilisa. And at that moment a disagreement occurred between me, the Federation, and Angelica. Vasilisa sat and cried. Well, she didn't cry. She made a very sad face and played well with emotions. Well, you have to understand that. I think this is really such a very interesting event. Because everything happens is, after all, you were a promising couple, then broke up. So I understand perfectly well. How did the Federation react to this? The Federation said that there was no point in fixing something that had already fallen apart. Well, they said like since he is so critical, well, there is no point in persuading him, that's all. Did they say anything about the contract? About the contract, they said that, in my opinion, they said, like, we don't have the right to draw it up. But they didn't take into account another point, that I don't have the right to make money from this contract, roughly speaking. And we have the right to draw up any contracts simply on some conventions, something like that. But I wouldn't make money on this contract. Because I wouldn't take a penny from it. Well, there was no such thing. That Vasilisa should pay me. Well, accordingly, I do not earn money from this contract. It's just a disciplinary document. And all these points that are stipulated are all paid by the Federation. And even if one of us violated something, it would continue to be paid by the Federation. At that time, you were the winners of the Russian Grand Prix final. The couple has already been established, promising. A lot of effort and ideas have already been invested by the Federation. Did they offer any solutions to this situation? They said that they don't see it in this sense. 
Everything is so critical. They accused me of non-show. Not working out. I came to them earlier. This is my mistake. I shouldn't have talked to Angelica and Vasilisa. I would have come to the Federation first. Just like what Vasilisa did how she came to Angelica prior to me. I would have talked to Angelica first. So let's first. put it this way, okay? The decision that you won't configure anything, glue anything together. Well, okay. The solution, you let it go. Some options don't matter. Did you ask, where can I skate? Who can I skate with? Until the last moment I hoped that I would stay with Angelica. But right at that moment she said that she's kicking me out and she won't work with me anymore. Well. I didn't want to leave the coach, never at all, just like that. They talked like that. She said that. He leaves the girl, and he goes where he wants. That I won't work with her. I'm not interested in him in another lineup, she said. Well, I don't know. Maybe there was resentment in her. She said what was in. I can't vouch for her, but she said that she won't leave me. She's kicking me out. But what were your first thoughts? Well, not the very first ones in the conversation, but... We were talking on the street before, in my opinion. When we had a fight for the first time. And that was it. When there, in my opinion, I said that yes. Okay, we are drawing up a contract that day. And there, a few hours later. Angelica and I went to talk together. And I told her. Well, Angelica, even if our partnership suddenly breaks up, someday, or something like this just happens, I didn't go to this couple. I came to you as my coach. And in fact, I abandoned Svetlana Evgenievna Lyapina when Angelica returned, and I went straight to Angelica. Well, I was very devoted to her. I would never abandon her, because I liked the way she worked. I liked her performances, we had good interactions with her, but man, she turned away from me and said, go wherever you want. Well, she said that she understands all this, she also loves me very much, and so on, but that's it. When our argument gets heated with the Federation, she said that I would never set foot on this skating rink again, that's all. We didn't even say goodbye, I think, we left after the conversation. She went down the rink with someone, with the Federation, and went to bring someone's things. A jacket. After we finished talking, Vasilisa led the representatives of the Federation on the rink. Angelica went in the other direction. I also went home. In the corridor I said goodbye, Angelica. But she remained silent and walked away. You know, such a cinematic story, it's as if you all went in three different directions. Yes, but we later saw each other at some competitions. The Moscow Championship, which is at the very beginning of the season, this was after the test skates. I came there to support my classmates and friends. We are with her. We see each other there again, and she said hello to me. I think she said hello. Valera. I hope your relationship gets better, because you really want to break up. 